2024, 1 30, Slay Thursday. Bond with its conditions will continue. Thank you. Yes. The note in my file from the other APA group that you saw in violation of the UNS today. Uh, yeah. The May 17, 2024 bond violation report. I do. Uh, is there a reason why you were missing? You were testing elsewhere, weren't you? No, sir. I, I was told I needed a court order, and I was on video Zoom with you on my last court order, and nobody contacted me and told me where to go. Why didn't them. they? I do have information about a facility that he would like to test at. He lives in Macomb County. Um, we yeah, I'm on GPA. Oh, I'm called them and they indicated as long as the order indicates what sort of panel needs testing and the frequency. Well, that was supposed to be done before. If I give you a test today, are you going to test? Yeah, I, the only thing I'm going to fail for would be marijuana. Yeah. Why are you using that? Can I speak freely? Yes. Uh, Your Honor, I'm going to be up for an honest with you. I used to have a crack cocaine addiction and I've come a long way. I've been through a lot, you know, this past few months, you know, I lost my father and my grandmother. There's no excuses. It's this the only thing that I've helped to give me an order. Okay, he's going to go over to community corrections test today. I'll get the results and then I'll determine what his bond will be as he proceeds up because he's told me what's going to happen and then we'll figure out in the meantime, council can prepare an order so that he can test in the code. Okay. And then just to be clear for the record, the waiver is complete and we're only coming back on whether or not they'll be remanded. Pardon? The waiver's all set now? Well, technically, no. Got it. Because, so uh, technically to retain jurisdiction, but I have, I still have jurisdiction anyway. So he needs to go over and test and then we'll figure out what we're going to do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. It's going to be that day. What's wrong? I just bring surprises. Yeah. Is that file still in the courtroom, correct? Pardon? Is that file still in the courtroom? Yeah, right? it's sitting here right with me. We could recall it whenever you have the opportunity. That'd be wonderful. I want to court recalls case. People versus rig, rugs. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, Nicole, you can tell me how to recall. Silvana Reed, Assistant Public Defender, with and on behalf of Mr. Ruggs. As we were walking out of the courtroom, I went to release the deputy who was present. I did not believe that the victim of the domestic violence was present today because she didn't check in with us. As we were leaving, the deputy let me know that the victim was actually present today with the defendant sitting beside him. As we exited into the court, into the hallway, so that I could see who the deputy was referring to, the defendant was speaking to Ms. Perkins out in the hallway, and the deputy confirmed that that is the victim. There, as I understand it, based on everything that's filed there, so no contact with her. So we did that in addition to the corrections violation, I'm requesting that he be remanded and that it can't be revoked. Mr. Allen, thank you, sir. Your Honor, I have no further information at this time. Does he admit to the violation? Your Honor. My sweet. If you wish. She wasn't here with me today, Your Honor. Were you talking to her in the hallway? She made a comment to her in the hallway. She was, I was... We were talking to her about testing, and I said something that I didn't. Were you know. sitting next to each other in the courtroom? You know, I can get video from the courtroom. Okay, I so, understand that. Yes, yeah, she was sitting next to me. You're not to have contact with her. You know that. Forget the testing. Defendant's bond at this time is revoked. Defendant's remanded. Get this go up before Judge Slay. I'll just leave it there. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Your Honor, he was here. Oh man! Oh no! And, <laughs> well, let me. Uh, he, um, let's just say this is a similar situation to one you had about three cases ago, 
where he was going to be sent across the street. Ah, uh, and so he proactively went and did it on his own. Oh, I think so, absolutely, yeah, no question. So he's so he's not here. Well, let me go out in the hallway and see. He was here because I just, go ahead. You can check away. It's just one of those days. I think he's over there testing away. Do you think so? Okay, you. I love the I love the faith that Mr. Childers has in people. Oh, I think he's gone. I think <laughs> I think he, I think he may be at the nearest beach he could find. He is gone. <laughs> but his attorney stayed. I stuck around. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, he's not he's gone. Right. David I. Goldstein to bring on behalf of the defendant. Yeah, I told him there was a uh, community corrections violation, discussed it. I asked him if he was going to test dirty. He said probably for marijuana. So, <laughs> so for marijuana, he left. Mm. Yeah, preliminary examination being set. Defendant having failed to appear, bench warrant will issue for the defendant's failure to appear. I will indicate defendant was here and then left. We'll issue immediately, no bond. Protester, maybe he's. <laughs> no, Mr. Mr. Childers, leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, maybe a lot of things happen. Right. Uh, okay. Do you the file for Mr. Howard Smith's gone? Oh yeah. Why? Because I just got a text from him. He's I texting. To, I don't want to texting. Not okay. sexting. Texting. <laughs> oh. Thanks for clearing that up. Okay. You got a text from <laughs> Toronto? Yes. Hold on.